Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Benjamin Dean. I'm a neuroscience student here. And today I'd like to talk to you about a deep evolutionary mystery, the origins of asymmetry in the brain. We've known for several hundred years now that human brains are asymmetric. A good example of this is me being able to produce language and all of you being able to understand the language I'm producing. This occurs largely in the left side of our brain and involves to almost no extent the right side of our brain. However, more recently, it's been proven that almost all species that have been investigated that have brains have some form of asymmetry. And so the question we want to know is, why has evolution selected some parts of our brains to become asymmetric? Now, it's a big, complicated question to look back in time through evolution. So we, in our lab, have asked a simpler question. We just want to know, during the course of development, how are asymmetric brains built? To study this, because many organisms have asymmetric brains, we turn to the zebrafish, which is a small organism, and when they're larvae or babies, they're see-through. And so we can use very powerful microscopes to literally watch their brains as they develop. So in my work, we can take small zebrafish and look at the asymmetric region of their brain, which you're seeing up here in green, where the neurons are represented in green. On the left, you can see a cluster of green grape-sized things. Those are neurons on the left, and there are none on the right. So at this moment in development, we've started to create neurons on the left, but we haven't created any neurons on the right yet. And if we look several days later and track the earliest born neurons, seen in pink down below, and compare them with the late born neurons, we see that they become asymmetrically distributed on the left and on the right. And it's not just that there are early born neurons and late born neurons. Early born neurons are functionally different from late born neurons. So what we've uncovered is a mechanism where the zebrafish brain is able to generate asymmetry by regulating the timing of when neurons appear. Now it remains to be seen whether this mechanism is used in other organisms up to and including humans. But ultimately the take home point is that timing is everything. Thank you.